Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java. We got five stouts to review, and this is our five best stouts for your, your snow day. Snow day, that's right. We carefully selected five different stouts, some local, some not so local, and we're gonna be rating each one and uh, comparing. So, yeah. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to Cork and Java, your go-to place for coffee and wine, reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to enrich and expand your experience with all your favorite beverages. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button below, the little bell, so you're notified when future videos come out. Today, we got a beer video, and it's our five best stouts for your snow day when you're trapped inside and mm. you have nothing to do but drink and maybe some other stuff. But Let's start with the stout, number one. All right, stout number one caught our attention because of its both fun can art and a unique name. This is by Oozle Finch Craft Brewery out of Hampton, Virginia. Yeah, it's a local to us. The beer is called Widow's Wager Tropical Stout Ale. Yeah, so the, the tropical, uh, don't really know what to expect with it. Not sure what they're getting at, but let's find out. Tropical, yeah, I have no idea what to expect with that. So the color, pretty dark. It's some light around the edges, not a ton. No head whatsoever. Uh, I got some. I did a little bit of hard pour at the end. <laughs> I got a little bit of chocolate notes, a little bit of coffee. That's a pretty traditional stout sense of. Yeah. Roast chocolate, some some like the roasty sweetness you get in the aroma there. Yeah, let's give it some, uh, let's give it a sip. Much more carbonated than I was expecting it to be. It's carbonated but smooth, kind of sweet to me. Yeah. And then... Got a hint of like a little bit of rum barrel on there. And as it sits and goes away and kind of lingers, it turns into more of a coffee flavor. Yeah, I agree with that. It's got a little bit of hot notes just to keep it interesting in there too. It's not all malt. Pretty light for a stout in my opinion. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. Mm -mm. It uh, goes down smooth. Uh, pretty similar to Guinness um, where it's something that's dark, but it it's really not as heavy as you're expecting no. it to be. That's good. I like it quite a bit. Pretty solid. All right, what do you rate this one? I'm gonna give it a 90. I'm gonna give it an 88. So that is first place, obviously, with uh, 89. Up next, we got, from Star Hill Brewery in Charlottesville, Virginia, the Little Red Roostar <laughs> yep. uh, Coffee Cream Stout. All right. I like coffee stouts. I like I like milk stouts. <laughs> so I'm hoping this one is uh, oh, I think it's pretty, pretty solid. A little bit of a head on there. Yep. It's dark. I'm getting barely any light around the edges. I'm getting stale coffee. And I'm getting almost no nose for me. I don't know. It's maybe very. My it's very. Clogged. No, no. I agree with you. It's. <laughs> I, I was struggling to find something, but I am getting a little bit of that stale coffee. Yep. Like you open a can of nice pre-ground McCaffey. Yeah. All right. I do get the coffee on there. Not sure what to think. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's uh, my favorite um, coffee flavors that are coming through. Um, to kind of describe it real subjectively, I mean, it's, it's brighter than I was expecting, but kind of a, a thin mouth feel. I'm not getting as much mm -hmm. creaminess as that I was. I was expecting it being um, something that's supposed to be a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. a little bit more malty. Um, I get some of the sweetness, but not not necessarily like a heavy malty kind of sweetness to it. It's also fairly light. It's a little bit heavier than the last one, but it's still fairly light. Um, but just not very complex. No. The, I mean, there, there's coffee there, but it yeah, it's th nothing pungent. Hints of coffee. Overall, fairly malty. Not too much uh, bitterness coming through from any hops. Um, 
Pretty it's carbonated. Really. But it's nothing's really jumping out at me as distinctive about it. A little bit of a nutty flavor maybe, but overall not very complex and uh, I don't know. Easy to drink. Yeah, no, I'm giving that. I mean, it's not bad. No. Like, there's n not off-putting flavors or anything of it. Um, it's just, I wouldn't say it's terribly balanced, heavy, heavy on the malt, um, and just overall pretty easy going coffee cream style. I'd I mean, say yeah. it's, it's a little bit of sweetness mediocre. is nice. Yeah. What would you give it? Mm, I just because it is still an enjoyable beer. Mm -hmm. I guess let's say 83. I was gonna give it an 83. There we go, perfect. All right, next up, we got Cowcatcher Milk Stout by Smart Mouth Brewing out of Norfolk, Virginia. Um, one of my favorite local. They are absolutely one of my favorite as well. And I enjoy milk stouts quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Left hand um, milk stout's a good choice. Um, Founders Breakfast Out's a good choice if uh, you can find those. This will be probably similar to that. Mm. All right, dark. As expected. Yep. Dark. Not too much on the nose. No. I keep thinking I just have a clogged nose, but I should trust I'm not more. Getting, I'm not getting too much. And these aren't these aren't the best shaped glasses to get. Uh, Every man tasting. Much All right. Very sweet. No hops at all. I was gonna say, I get something on this. Herby. It's a little bit vegetal, but very sweet. Not as sweet as other milk stouts that I've had, which is nice because I don't like them to be super sweet. And yet, and for that, it doesn't sit quite as heavy for me as some of the other milk stouts. Yeah, but this is still the heaviest of the lineup by far. I really like it. I don't have a lot of terms for it, but I really like it. I get both vanilla and chocolate flavors coming through in this. A little bit of caramel kind of characteristics. There's caramel, well. a lot of carbonation. Mm. Yeah. Overall sweet and pretty bright for a stout. Yeah. What would you give this one? You can rate it. Give it an 89. 87. 7, 88. Second place. All right, next is next up. one many beer drinkers will likely recognize Young's Double Chocolate Stout. I would say I had this one when I first started getting into craft beer years ago, and I don't really remember anything about it. Huh. It's that good? It'll feel like the first time. <laughs> This one's a black hole. There's no Super light dark. coming through that. Ooh, a little bit more in the nose than uh, the still, previous ones. Still not like an aroma explosion. No. Again, a little bit of chocolate. I was gonna say, yeah. Pr pretty heavily like milk chocolatey. Oh, I'm yeah. curious if this is gonna be more milk or more of a, like a baker's or a dark chocolate. Kind of like a pudding smell, <clears throat> uh, chocolate pudding. Mm. Wow. Sweetest by far. That's super sweet. That's not Baker's chocolate. <coughs> That's like a milk chocolate. But I like it. Yeah, it's kind of like a Hershey's Kiss. Oh, man. If you if you took, like, some... Like a Pilsner or something like that and melted a Hershey's Kiss in it. Yeah. Because it's got a lot of uh, uh, carbonation to it. Mm -hmm. And besides that, it's just like chocolate explosion with a little bit of hop subtleness on top. Yeah, the, the sweetness dominates it, but not in a heavy way. I know I couldn't drink a whole bottle. I think it'd be too no. sweet for me. This one is still but, a heavy one. I'd say it's on par there with the milk stout at least. I'm curious how it would change if it warms up a little. Yeah. It would bring out some darker chocolate. Yeah, this will warm you up on the snow day. 
I like that quite a bit. The sweetness dissipates some as it lingers. Yeah. I'll get a little more of just a roasted flavor at the back end there. Yeah, you get a little ling lingering bitterness from the hops, it, which I think complements the, the, the upfront sweetness that you get on this mm -hmm. one pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty balanced and easy to drink. It just couldn't do a whole bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I think a little bit too much of the chocolate notes for my preference and that's what they're going for but it it's worked. just yeah <laughs> it's just not 100 percent my thing what would you uh rate this one hmm. i'm gonna go with the solid 88 it's gonna go 86 all right 87 and i'm surprised it's saying it's only 5.2 percent hmm. all right and final in our lineup here we have more pretty can art can't take that in I like that. Now see if I can pronounce this correctly. Marvolo or Marvolo Imperial Chocolate Stout. Marvolo. Out of Commonwealth Brewing in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Is this a nitro? I uh, kind of tell you. Does it say so? I know, I thought I, I felt a widget in there. Here, moment of truth. Nothing happened. No, nothing. <laughs> Womp. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It almost has like, that is has that like, like a, a tar appearance? See it, if you can capture that. It is thick. Whew. I'm excited. All right. Imperial Chocolate Stout, 8.7% alcohol. Where's it from again? Virginia Beach. Oh, okay. What, what brewery? Commonwealth Brewing. Oh, I've heard good things. Wow. There's a lot more on the nose than the previous ones. Getting, getting chocolate heavily and coffee. Getting chocolate and this sweet maltiness. I get some like pecan on there. Yeah, it is rem reminiscent of like a nut porter or a brown ale almost. Yeah, I'm getting kind of like the, you know, the filling in a pecan pie. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a good one. All right, let's try this. One. Oh, that is amazing. Ooh, super heavy. Super delicious. That's sweeter than I was expecting, but really given it's, the nose, I shouldn't be surprised. It's sweet, but it's also packs a punch of flavor too. And it gets aggressive at the end. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way I can think to describe that one. It's definitely got sweet chocolate notes, coffees coming through, definitely a lot of nut characteristics mm -hmm. as well. And then the alcohol comes in at yeah. the end. Pecan and walnut and yeah. And you do get a little hit hit of uh Maybe like a bourbon barrel, like yeah. some bourbon in the end. I, I don't think it was aged in a bourbon barrel, but I'm getting some of those um, vanilla. The can, the can doesn't let on to much. But... Yeah, I don't know. We didn't we didn't research this one too much. So, so this is a cool beer <laughs> to try. Yeah, this is definitely delicious. Imperial stout. And there's just sweet nuttiness. To me, that's what dominates overall. A real just roasted nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. Almost like a souped up brown ale. Yeah, but then, like the aftertaste, you kind of get almost like a campfire-ish um, notes to it. At least I, I'm getting that. Just I can whatever see hops wood. they have in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know if I'd be. I wouldn't be shocked if this was aged in uh, some. Barrels. Yeah, I could totally see that. I don't know if that's just the alcohol coming through at 8.7, or if it was actually aged in a bourbon barrel of some sort. I mean, it's not super high, so no, but it definitely could be, higher. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but I highly recommend it. Yeah, this one is complex. Probably share with the friends. It's got a lot of layers to it, so yeah, great for your snow day. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this one? No, I'm just really fascinated by it. I'm gonna give it 94. I was gonna give it 92. So clear win. Yeah. Kept them in order. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yes, in order. So first place out of Virginia Beach. Commonwealth Brewing. Marvolo. Good Wait. job. Marvolo. Marvolo. Mm -hmm. Imperial Chocolate Stout. Check it out. Then Oozle Finch. Is that next? Yeah. I think we've kept them in order. Then next we got Smart, Smart Mouth Milk Stout. Uh, excellent one out of Norfolk, Virginia. Mm -hmm. So far, Hampton Roads is... Hampton Roads is cranking them out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This was Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Fun beer, but uh... Where was that out of? I think it's... England? I thought it was England. Yeah, that one's out of the UK. Uh, 
not too bad. And then, and then out of Charlottesville, Virginia, Star Hill. It's a coffee cream stout. It wasn't, it was drinkable, it was good. No bad beer on the list. Yeah, it was good. It just, it's just a little bit, you know, uninteresting. And Especially compared to the Hecate. Oh, oh man, it's, it's night and day different than that. I mean, it, it was, it was still worthy, mm -hmm. but just not the complexity and uh, the characteristics that we're really looking for in our best stouts for your snow day. Let me grab a little more of this. Yeah, and while he's doing that, you guys should come check us out at corkandjava.com. It's where we catalog all of our coffee, wine, beer, liquor, all of our stuff there. We got uh, tons of videos on how-tos and different reviews. So come check us out there. Also on Facebook and Twitter, Pinterest if you got that too. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys online. Until next time, cheers. Bottoms up. Yeah.